Okay, good afternoon. Mm. Beautiful day. Amen. Yeah. Rainy season is coming. You know this flower? This is the symbol of rainy season in Japan. We call it Ajisai. You know. Yeah. God gives us the beautiful flower to endure the rainy season. Yeah. Somebody says we have uh, relatively white and perf perfumed, you know, aromas flower in rainy season. Yeah, like kuchinashi or some other white and have some aroma. Yeah, maybe that is God's plan. You know, we can enjoy the aroma even in the rainy season. Yeah. Wow, cute. <laughs> okay. Uh, Today, I'd like to continue the series of uh, Romans. I've just started uh, uh, in, in, in February. And this is the third time. Uh, I've just started Romans chapter 1, verse 1 to 7. Actually, uh, verse 1 to 7 has no period in Greek. One to seven is a long one sentence. The first time I uh, preached from verse one, and next time from verse two, uh, verse one, uh, two, 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 what? Uh, let me see, let me see. Two to four, and today I'd like to pre preach from verse five to seven. But let me read from verse one to the end of seven. Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel, gospel of God. The gospel he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures regarding his son, who as to his human nature was a descendant of David and who through the spirit of holy, holiness was declared with power to be the Son of God by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and for his name's sake, we received grace and apostleship to call people from among all the Gentiles to the obedience that comes from faith. And you also are among those who are called to be belong to Jesus Christ. To all in Rome who are loved by God and called to be saints, grace and peace to you from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. So actually the last sentence is the center of from 1 to 7. This is what he wants to say. Before Paul wants to say grace and peace to you from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. He gives us a long uh, introduction and explanation. This is how Paul <laughs> teaches us, you know, this is how he thinks. You know, once he wants to say something, uh, he comes up with new ideas and, you know, there's explanations and doctrine and theology. So until he finished his explanation, he wants to say, uh, he, he does not want to say the conclusion. You know? That's why his, his sentence is so long, very long. By the way, uh, the title of this today's uh, sermon is The uh, Mission of the Gospel. Uh, let me read verse 5. Through him and for his name's sake. Of course, him is Jesus Christ our Lord. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, and for his name's sake, we received and grace and apostleship. Uh, we means Paul and his uh, friends or other disciples with him, those who writing this, sent, uh, this letter. Paul does not uh, have trouble by himself. He loves bring somebody like Jesus Christ. Maybe to uh, make them grow or teach them, you know, like Jesus traveled with the disciples. So along the trip, Jesus uh, taught many things, right? 
Uh, so the poll also uh, traveled with Luke or Mark or other uh, people. And so in this time uh, when writing the letters to the Romans, maybe not by himself, but other his disciples or friends uh, around him. So Paul said, uh, we received, you know, we, me and other, uh, the friends around me, received grace and apostleship. The apostleship I preached in February, uh, it, it, which is in the verse, verse 1, Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle. He said, I'm an apostle. I m was assigned, I was uh, uh, of a mission when I was saved at the gate of the Damascus. He was called, he, he was selected to be the apostle for the Gentiles. So he uh, thinks, you know, not the one of the 12 uh, apostles, but he's um, one of the apostles. Uh, apostle means be sent or is selected to do something. So that is uh, his, uh, his he, that's what he thinks. So uh, the apostleship, so he got the mission. He, he, he has to do something uh, for Jesus Christ. He got the grace and apostleship. Grace and apostleship too, that is the first important point of today's sermon is to call people from all among the Gentiles to obedience that comes from faith. To call people from among all Gentiles to, to the obedience. That is the toughest part for Japanese. This is maybe the, the uh, biggest reason why Japanese do not become Christians. <laughs> because for Japanese, the religions is not the uh, matter of obedience. For Japanese, religion is, is like a, a like, like a, a, you know, the, the temples, the shrines, what they, they do is just pray and just, just ask. Yeah. So gods, for Japanese, uh, they're slaves. No. Not the one who obey or, or, or follow. You know. So Japanese loves many gods. When they, got, they take the ent uh, entrance examination, they need this, they choose this god. For the driving, they choose this god. For the safety, for the food, for the money, they choose gods. You know. So they do not obey God. They let Japanese, not they, me, also Japanese. Japanese let gods obey them. You know. That's why Japanese, you know, they love Christianity. They love, the statistics said, you know, if you ask Japanese, what is your um, favorite religion? Christianity. Yeah. They love it. Why they do not come to church? Because we have to obey God. That's a Christianity, right? You know, we do not make our God to uh, obey me. It, or do not make our God to just uh, do something or ask, uh, you know, uh, answer my question. Uh, requests. Of course we do uh, give the requests or, or I would ask something, but basically we obey God. Because He's the creator, He's the master of our lives. He's the only God. That's why we obey. So we should change their Gospels? No. We never change the gospel because the Bible said we are called to the call of people. We uh, call people, all the Gentiles, including Japanese, Filipino, other Gentiles, to obedience. To the obedience comes from faith. 
Obedience comes from faith. I pray and I believe that someday God will open Japanese eyes. Amen. You know. Because if you do not obey God, we do not receive the grace. We do not receive the love of God. We do not receive the truth of God. So this, the word obedience is very important. That comes from faith. We have to put ourselves, you know, it's not just, just a, mm, how can I say, just believe things, you know, faith. 100% uh, this is like a trust, you know. We have, we have to trust ourselves. We have to uh, give ourselves to the Lord and, obe and obey Him. We are called, G Paul said, we are called to all the Gentiles to, obe to, ob to the obedience. Also, we are called too. Yeah. Of course, we, uh, once we uh, heard the gospel and we start obe obeying, but now, once we start obeying Jesus, we, we, we come to the other side, you know. Now we are also the Paul's side, the one who are writing the letters to spread the gospels. We, uh, we are called to bring the people to the obedience. And we have to give them the joy of obeying. Right? Yeah. Obey means, you know, for the Japanese, obey means, no, 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 I don't want to obey or something. You know, we, we need God sometimes, but we do not put our trust in 100% to some uh, 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 God or the God. But once we put our trust 100% on one God and obey God, our lives are changed. We became the son of God. We, we have a new life. We have an everlasting life, right? Yeah. So we, we want to, we want to uh, know, you know, we want them, uh, we want to uh, know them to know. Uh, and verse 6 said, And you also are among those who are called to belong to Jesus. You Romans, you know, the, the people, you're in the Romans. Yes, you are among those who are called to belong to Jesus Christ. You, you, also, you already belong to Jesus Christ. Because you put trust on Him and you start obeying God. Yeah. That's great. Belongs to Jesus Christ. Ah, it's very great, great idea. Belongs to Jesus Christ. Wow. What kind of group you belong to? Company, family, uh, church, neighborhood. No, we belong to Jesus Christ. Amen. Everybody, I belong to Jesus Christ. Amen. Other groups, okay. But I belong to Jesus Christ. Our boss, our, our leader, Jesus Christ. I belong to Jesus Christ like other disciples. Matthew, James, Peter, Paul, Barnabas, everybody join. Everybody belong to Jesus Christ. I belong to Jesus Christ. And nobody can take us out from these belongings. Amen. Amen. And verse 7 said, To all in Rome who are loved by God and called to be saints. To all in Rome who are loved by God and called to be saints. Once you start ob obey God, you know. Now we are loved by God and called to be saints. Now we are loved. Of course, God loves everybody, but now we know 
God truly, totally, completely love us. Amen. Yeah, we are loved. We are loved. God sent us His begotten Son to save me from the from sins. He gave His only Son to change me, to rescue me from the hell. Now we are His sons and daughters. We are loved. We do not need anything other than that, right? We are loved by God. That's all. Why you have to ask something else? We are loved by God. Right? And we have the, the sign. This is the sign God loves us. God loves us. You have doubt in your heart about the love of God. Look up to the cross. Amen. Amen. Jesus died for me. Jesus died for me. He gave his life to me. And he saved me from sins. I, I, maybe I testimony many times, you know. I, uh, when I became a father, my uh, the first son was born, I truly realized I am loved by God because I love my son. Yeah. Of course, I love my wife. I love my uh, family, other family, brothers and sisters, and church members. But a totally different. Yeah. I love my son. Special. Yeah. Yeah. Others, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Many babies, you know, cutie babies, well, it's fine. My boy, special. I love him. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, let's give me the idea. Yes, this is, this is the, the love. God, you know, it's God's love. Yeah. But my love is, is, is not this the same size as God's has, right? He has the much more bigger love to me. Yeah. So whenever I feel the love toward my son, I feel the love of God toward me. Yeah. Now my older son is 25. I do not have the same feeling. <laughs> No, 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 just joking. I love him, I love him, I love another boy too, yeah. But, you know, I, I still remember when I was a baby. So sorry for art, you know. Uh, it's hard to uh, uh, nourish or uh, <laughs> milking and change the diapers. There's a lot of job, yes, yes. But through the lot of jobs, God give us the training, right? Endurance and patience. That is God's endurance and patience, right? Yeah. God has endurance forever for me, for us. Yeah. Or patience for kids. Ah, maybe sometimes. Wow. Oh no, God. Oh, I don't want to do that. But God says, "Do you know how how I?" Uh, endure it for you, how, how much I patient for you. Yeah. Sorry God. Yeah. Oh by the way, uh, once you start obeying, I really understand the love of God. And also, called to be saints. Saints. Wow. You guys are saints. Do you feel you're saints? Really? Grace, you're saints? <laughs> no, I'm just a dirty, sinful man. But Paul said, the God said, you're saints. You're saints. Do, you, do you know the Catholic calendar? Every single day has a, a saint 
you know, today is some saint's day. I know the Valentine or James or, you know, I, I don't know many names, but every single day has the saints. Yeah. Mm. And they remember and also they got some grace from the saints. Yeah. Mm. But the Bible says every single Christian, every single son and, son and daughter of God is a saint. Yeah. Sacred, holy one. We are holy one because Jesus' blood. He cleansed our sins 100%. So from God's point of view, from His grace's glasses, we are all saints. Amen. Amen. We are saints. Yeah, so we have to respect each other more, right? Right next to your father, you know, you're saints. Yeah. Okay, don't blame each other. We're saints. Yeah. God love and give, call us saints. Wonderful. Yeah, this is the, you know, that's why we, we uh, spread the gospel. That's why we call, we are called to uh, give them the message. Because once we start obeying God, we, f we know the love of God and also we become the saints of the Lord. And finally, Paul uh, give the, the greeting. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace and peace to you from God our Father. This is like, you know, kind of tip, typical greeting. Maybe you also write in the emails or uh, uh, write, uh, mails, you know. Yes, this is typical greeting. But the meaning of this typical greeting is so deep. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus. Not just a grace or not just a peace, you know. It is from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. It is from the creator of the universe and also the uh, Savior, the Son of Jesus Christ. The God and peace comes from this true God. This is totally different. We have grace and grace and grace and grace every single moment not just once a year or once a month you know maybe we uh, of course we have a testimony you know we feel grace and blessings but that's the only thing we can recognize but our grace and peace from our father and Jesus Christ comes 24 hours every single woman we do not realize that we can swim in the grace of the Lord we can live and work of course we have hard time we have a lot of problems and trials of course but our peace our peace from God will never gone. No, nobody can take that away. What Jesus said, the peace I give is not the peace from this world. Right? The peace I give is never gone away. Amen. His grace and peace. Please, uh, this week, Please remember these words. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. This is not the, just the greeting, you know. This comes from the, this is the Word of God. Yes, and grace and peace from uh, God, Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ is right now in, in my heart. Even in the midst of hard time. Yes, grace and peace. Yeah. 
So this is our mission to spread this the gospel to give our friends our, our family and neighbors of course this is the toughest part to start obeying but once you obey we feel the love of God we call to be saints and the grace and peace 24 hours what a great message Amen. 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 Yeah, grace and peace. Let's pray. Our Father, thank you for the message to us, Lord. Thank you that somebody gives us this great message now. And also thank you, your spirit. Open our heart and make us repent that we can we start obeying you now and now we feel the love now we feel your grace and now we feel your peace and thank you so much you call us the saints of course we are the sinners we are we do not obey all the time but your grace follows me like David said Wherever we go, the grace and peace are there, waiting for us. Lord, in this week, somebody will have a hard time in the trials, disease, and accidents. But make us remember, your grace and peace is there, and we are loved by God. 100%. And now we are your sons and daughters. And also let us give this message, this present, this gospel to, the, to our family and to our neighbors and to our friends, Lord, and workers, because they do not know. Because they do not know the joy of obeying you. How great the gospel is. How wonderful this life is. How sweet is your love is, Lord. Make us your apostles. Make us your slaves. And make us set apart for your job. Thank you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.